All righty, John. I just thought I'd take a bit of a video of um, why your car, why the damage was as extensive as what it was for such a small incident. This is a um, offcut from the front grille um, or air dam, whatever you want to call it. This is the piece that I've made to replace it. There, uh, without a micrometer, they have the same thickness. I'm not doing this as a trick or anything. This is just showing you the difference in um, the way that the parts are manufactured. This is done in a process called RTM where they put a little bit of fibre in a mould and then inject the resin into it. They're probably getting about four times as much resin as fibre, which is not a good ratio. One to one is a good ratio. This is probably, this is just me hand laying a piece up on a sheet of glass. Um, this is just fiberglass as well with polyester resin, pretty much the same as the original component. Um, but I'm probably down to about 1.2 or 1.5 times as much resin as fibre. So it should be a lot more resilient. Um, like I say, there's no trick to it. This is just to give you a demonstration of why your car broke the way it did. I can snap that quite easily with my fingers. It's about the same thickness, um, the same width and same length. I can... <coughs> okay, and it doesn't actually snap. It um, stays held together. I can still break it. But it took five times as much effort to do it. So, and that's only with glass. It's the same materials as what they've used, but using a um, different method of laminating. Um, it, that car, oh, you can reduce some weight out of it and make it a lot stronger if uh, you had the time and money to do it. Um, it goes very well for what it is, but uh, could go considerably better. Um, but anyway, I just thought I'd show you why your car broke the way it did. It's because it's a little bit more brittle than ideal because there's not enough fibre in it to um, hold the parts together. All right, I'll post this to YouTube and send you a link and um, talk to you soon. Bye.